need to catch some fish from your aquarium, but you're dreading it because of how fast and wily they are, keep watching as I follow the preferred methods of three famous fish tubers to see which one works the best. Hi, I'm a gamer's wife, here with practical and proven fish care tips to help busy aquarists like you. And recently, I decided to rehome all the fish in my 20 gallon community tank, and I decided, hmm, this might be a good chance to figure out which of the different techniques I've seen online will work the best. In today's lineup, we've got Lucas from LR Brett's Aquatics versus Rachel O'Leary, aka Ms. Jinxed, versus Corey McElroy of Aquarium Co-op. Before we begin, let's first see method number one, amateur hour. So this is how most people catch fish, using a net and dumb luck. <laughs> if you've got derpy slower creatures like Cory catfish, this method will probably do just fine. However, if you're trying to catch fast little zippy fish like green neon tetras, I'm telling you right now that you ain't catching nothing, especially in an aquarium that's heavily planted or has lots of decor, aka obstacles. Method number two, ninja mode. So I was watching Lucas at LRB Aquatics, who boasts a fish room of 200 plus tanks, and he mentioned catching fish at night when they're sleepy. The two bonus techniques he also uses are, number one, moving slowly as to not freak out the fish, and number two, bringing two nets so that you can use the little net to corral the fish into the bigger net. Now I didn't have the best luck with this method since I don't really enjoy staying up late or waking up early and I think my quarry catfish were already awake at 6am looking for food as usual. Method number three, the shotgun approach. Rachel O'Leary of the channel Ms. Jinx imports and sells nanofish for a living so she has lots of practice netting them out. When she's moving fish during summer tubbing, I see her lower the water level, remove all the plants and hardscape in the way, and then just sweep a large net back and forth in the remaining water. Now I didn't feel like tearing down my aquascape, so I settled for just lowering the water. I think this method is great if you need to move all the fish in a tank, but it's not as useful if you just want to catch one specific nanofish. Also, I found out you don't want to lower the water too much because then the fish may have problems getting in the net, like this one particularly fat catfish I had who refused to move from her corner. Gotta just roll that sucker in. <laughs> method number four, the trapdoor method. Corey Elway from Aquarium Co-op owns his own fish store and he actually had a tutorial on fish catching. Rather than using two nets, he recommends using one large net and your hand to corral a fish, since your hand can move much faster than a net with lots of water resistance. You set up the net in a corner with one end open like a trap. Slowly guide the fish in with your hand and then close the net so that the fish are sealed inside against the tank wall. Using this technique, I was amazingly able to scoop out two specific green neon tetras, yes, that were diseased and needed to be treated. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of that miraculous feat. However, when I had to catch all 14 green neon tetras in the tank, I got every single one of them except for one particularly wily tetra who was just impossible to nab. Eventually, I had to combine Rachel's and Corey's methods. I lowered the water, disassembled almost my entire scape, <laughs> and then I used the trapdoor technique. Also, I added my own little twist and enlisted the help of my husband and my eagle-eyed little son as extra set of eyes to spot the fish. From above, these little stinkers are dark gray and are practically invisible on my black substrate. Together, the gamer's wife family proceeded to defeat the last remaining green neon tetra so that he could join his brothers and sisters. Personally, I like Cory's fish store method because it's highly effective and usually doesn't involve removing decor, but as you can see with the tiny green neon tetras, there was no way I was going to catch that last one without combining all my available tricks. If you like this type of tutorial, don't forget to check out my playlist on freshwater aquarium how-tos, as well as subscribe to join our community. Take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.